So I'm pretty sure I came from the left here, but I'm in staying to the right. I'm not ready to leave already. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go this way, see how far this cave really goes. Wow. This is a huge, much bigger cave than I expected. Wow. Okay, let me stand up here. This is awesome. Holy cow. So that's the way I came from just now. I think I came from there earlier. Not really sure yet. <laughs> kind of lost. Yeah, long story. Wow, hang on. Let me put on my backpack. My backpack's makes. Look at this. There's like a whole sheet of plant roots here. So crazy. I've seen plant roots in a cave like this, but not quite like this, no. What's ironic, look at this. So there's a huge crack here. There's no plant roots coming through that big crack. They're just coming through this little crack. Why is that? What's so special about that little crack that the plants want to grow through there? Is it because this big crack doesn't go as high? I don't know. Not a clue. Now let me look at the floor. See how uneven it is? Wow. This cave is interesting. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day here. <laughs> I have no idea how big this cave is, but wow. So far, I'm crouching down. The ceiling's off and on about six feet here. But yeah, the cave is obviously couple dozen feet wide there's natural light back there that's kind of near the entrance where I came from not really ish Oops. there's loose rock here I'm trying to be gentle with the cave but I'm walking on loose rock look at the smooth spots here rough spots here Some small formations here. Got a little bit of drip stones here. Right there. Wow, it's like three, four, five little small ones next to each other. Interesting, there's white stuff growing right in that one crack. I know what's so special about that one crack. <sighs> wow. Here's a nice breakdown pile, hence the different color of the rocks. Wow. Boy, this is an interesting cave. But I do have to be home by bedtime. So, wow. And that's it. It's sealed. The end. The ceiling comes down. Wow. All right, so let me go to the other side here and head back the way I came. And I'm pretty sure there's more cave back that way too. So this cave is like, wow. This floor is very fragile. I'm trying to be gentle with it, but it's, I weigh about 185 pounds. So I got a little bit of weight pushing down on these rocks. This is cool. Let's see if I can get over here without hurting myself. Look at that. The ceiling started peeling apart. Oops. The ceiling started peeling apart. 
that's basically how breakdown happens. The ceiling just feels falls off, yeah, peels off and falls down. Couldn't make up my mind if I was going to say falls down or peels off, so I ended up making a mess. Sometimes I think and talk at different speeds. Not pretty. All right. Oh, wow. Look at the flow lines on the right here, though. Let's see if I can pan down just a bit. Show the wall better. There's a nice crack where the ceiling peeled back a bit. But yeah, look at these flow lines. This is awesome. But notice here, see how the floor is higher in the middle. Like there was a second smaller um, flow, a red one, on top of the older gray one. But look at this, look at these flow lines. Little ridges here as it flowed at different levels, different volume per minute. I wonder if they measure that in cubic feet per minute or what. Wow. It's funny from here, you can't see the way out. We're stuck. Now I'm gonna have to adjust my knee pad. Yeah, you know what? I'm in an easy part of the cave. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video so I can adjust my knee pads before I crawl out through some hard part. <laughs> 